I am not the greatest rider on Nern. However, I do know how to ride and tend to a mount, yes. I suppose you are asking, due to the fact I've made it all the way here on foot. You'll definitely cover ground way faster on a mount than on foot. However, I want to take my time to study flora and meet with people. If I wanted to get to Ribbon Spire right away, I would have simply hopped on a ship back in Port Telvanus. I suppose with our current arrangement, though, it'd be quite useful to have a mount. I have a few concerns in that regard, so we'll need to write some letters. I'll let you know if anything comes up. Hmm? Ah, yes. A courier from House Redoran came by while you were away, handed me a letter from Blacklight. The letter is from an associate of mine, Narasa. She lives in Blacklight. She has arranged for a Guar merchant to meet with me, here in Skyrim. Not too far from the border. Her name is Narasa Serrano. She is a lawman in House Redoran. She serves Vermaya Serethi, counselor of House Redoran and granddaughter of Ethan Serethi. Narasa is one of my associates in Blacklight. I met her a few years back and she has been my go-to person for Redoran matters. Yes, indeed. Aethan Serethi, her grandfather, is the protagonist in the book The Hope of the Redoran. Interestingly, that is what they have started calling Vermaya as well. Many figure she's itching for the Archmaster position. She spends a surprising amount of time cracking down on the worship of the Armsevi. Personally, I think Armsevi worshippers are harmless scapegoats that Vermaya is simply using to advance her position. I don't like her much. She is extremely opposed to House Telvani, and looks for any weakness to take advantage of. Refugees rest. It is right near the northern border to Morrowind. Windhelm isn't too far away from it. We should head there soon. Let me know when you're ready to go. Sure. Let's be on our way. Good morning, Sir Joe. No Sometimes I envy you, Sir Arnie. Let's Why do what that? we came here to do. Your diet. Hmm? Since it's most ah, yes, the guar business. I had almost forgotten. Do you oh, mind if I examine I it for just a moment? Of it that way. I Go ahead. My guar are the finest mean, there are. Beautiful no, creatures, aren't I'm they? Fine. Thank you. I would you like sure? to see if this harness problems. are made fits. You're you very mind? convincing. Go but on. Problems are but not you're enough to win my patience, Tavani. I know. I tend to get that. Let's way. see then. This on like that. <laughs> Tighten that there. <sighs> I was and hoping it wouldn't smell I this think we're good. Bad. What do you think? Looks a bit tight, but otherwise it is fine. What the? Hey! Where did my guar go, you filthy fetcher? Back to Morrowind, if things went correctly. What? Why in Boethia's name would you do that? For practicality, mainly. What? You bring back that Gwar right now. All in due time, Sergio. Now, payment for the Gwar. I believe you and Narasa agreed upon 1,000 gold, correct? What? Yes, we did. But I don't have the Gwar anymore. Bring it back here. Does it matter, you fool? I'm buying the Gwar from you now. It won't be your problem anymore. Huh. No, I suppose not. Here, yeah, one thousand gold. Oh, and another two hundred for the trouble. Good. I can finally leave this frozen wasteland. <clears throat> Save travels. Ah, look who's back. Well... It would seem I have come into possession of a guar. The teleportation thing. Well, as I told you, I had a few concerns if I were to have my own mount. Practicality was one of them. And proper care was the other. 
I sent a few letters to Morrowind. One of them had a propylon attached. That letter was headed to Lothanis. Oh, gods no. Vela has no clue how to tend to Aguar. The propylon went to Braylon in Dalin, a Gwar herder in town. I befriended him over some Thaylul. That Mur came to love that stuff. I got him in touch with the brewery. He now also runs a little shop selling Thaylul in Lothanis, alongside tending his Gwar. Speaking of which... Thaylul. I asked Braylin to confirm the Gwar had made it to Lothanis by having him plant a bottle on it. Whenever I am not in need of the Gwar, it will stay with Braylin. I can trust he will give it the utmost care. The special harness I made will bring the Gwar to me, or Braylin, whenever I choose to. I believe that only leaves one last consideration. A name. I was off a mind to name it Kiko, but I wanted to know if you perhaps had a better idea. Yes, I think so too. Glad you agree. I'll send Kiko back to Lothanis for now. Whenever you hop on a mount.